Hey guys, this is Thor Daly, Mr. Thor Daly. And you know what? The quarantine has messed me up. The quarantine has messed me up. And I have to get out the house and come to the beach. You, you, you got questions? Jay Wayne got answers. It is the Jay Wayne Q&A show. <laughs> Jay Wayne, trading in pay. Jay Wayne, he got no answers q &A. It's your boy Jay Wayne. Welcome to the Jay Wayne Q and A show, man. What's up? What's going on, man? I'm a big time fan of yours, man. I'm glad to to finally meet you, even though it's on, you know, you know, online, man. You know, I've been following you for the past eight months. Hey, God is good, bro. Like it's yeah. all about the quality of life. I want freedom. Yeah, absolutely, man. You're a family man, man. You honor your wife, man. You're just a good man. I don't know you personally. I can just tell tell that you are, man. That's why I've been trying to reach out to you so much, man, through messages and stuff. And I, you know, I don't like to get on nobody's nerves, man. But I like what you're doing, man. Hey, you know? hey, that's why I want to open up this opportunity. I'm glad you was able to, you know, catch me and get in here and kind of, you know, right. talk it up with me. Um, right. I'm really here for the people, bro. From day one, like my heart is pure. Um, yeah. You know, like anything that's done wrong or anything I made a mistake on or talked to somebody the wrong way, I really want to make that right. All right. right. I, I never want to harm anybody or, you know, I'm really here to just help people become good traders and make some money, bro. Right, 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 right. I'm not against mm -hmm. anybody that's using indica indicators or anything because that's where yeah. my start. I needed some training wheels. You, you yeah. couldn't tell me no other way. I didn't want to hear right. nothing because that's, that's the level that I was at. Eventually you yeah. evolve and I still use indicators today. It's just not as much of them. Oh, and, yeah. and I don't need five indicators to tell me to take an entry. But I, I, I know how to use them for each situation. I, I look at indicators as a tool. Do you use a wrench for every card, you know, fix you do? No. Use a drill, a power drill, an air gun, a wrench. I know when to use that, that, that indicator for that exact moment. Right, so, right. That's how, that's that's how I use it. Yep. A couple years down the road, I, followed, I stumbled up on you on YouTube. I'm like, man, where this guy been, man? I you feel know. You. I, I was like, where was Forex at when I was homeless? Like when I was, when yeah. I had a, when I had a little bit of money before I got homeless, like where was Forex at? But you know what? I wasn't ready for it at the yeah. time and everything just comes around. But now that you're here, like take yeah. full advantage of it. And just so you know, uh, before I get to the rest of the people, um, yeah. whatever indicator you got, I will teach you how to use it. So when you oh, do the mentorship, cool. that's part, like, I will teach you how to make money with that boy. You feel me? Oh, I cool, got cool. it. Well, man, you have yourself a blessed night, man. I know you got plenty, plenty of callers, man, waiting, to, just dying to talk to you, man. Yes, sir. I don't yes, want to hog it up. All right, my uh, man. Take care, bro. Let's make this all money. All right, brother. All right. All right. See you later. All right. Well, Jeremiah, welcome to the J. Wayne Q&A show, man. What's up? Man, hey, what's bro. up, man? What's up, man? What's going on? Man, team tape profits, man. Finally get to meet Jane Wayne himself. Let's go. Let's go. I'm here for you, bro. I mean, I'm not going to hold you, but I'm kind of stuck to really meet you, man. I've been watching your videos and stuff, man. So it's really a crazy time for me a little bit right now. Hey, where are you from, though? I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm in school right now. Okay. I go to Thomas University. I'm playing on a basketball team. Just a little bit about me. Oh, and, you know, I be, yeah, I began to the little market stuff. Um. I'll say it's been about a year. I've been studying it. I've been demo trading. Um, I put some money in. I learned a viable lesson not to trade on Friday too much. <laughs> yeah, you get, you, get, you get caught. You get stuck in that boy. Mm -hmm. You get a lot of fake outs. And yeah. so I kind of blew my account like that. But I'm ready to get back in and do my thing. So, yeah, a couple questions I'll say. Um, the best time of the day to trade. Because I used to wake up at 5. To trade, I trade GBP pairs like you do, right? Mm -hmm. And so I used to wake up at five because that's when the charts were moving when I was just waking up on the record. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wake up at five and catch some moves. I wake up at five, next you know, the moves are not happening at five no more, they're happening at three. I'm like, dang. So when I wake up at three, and then the moves don't happen. So what do you, this is like the best time to wake up and, you know, catch some moves. Hey, this is the stuff that I was begging for. The people that I was with when I first started trading. And it seems like they was like hiding the information. I'm like, how much do I need to look at the chart? Do I need to look at it all day? Do I, you know what I mean? Like, come on, somebody give me some answers. And 
here it is, bro. When you, if, if you're a professional and you take your job serious, okay, you never come to work on time. Don't come to work right at nine o'clock. Come a, come a little early. Come up, come 30 minutes early. You know what I mean? Get your right. mind acclimated. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't running in, rushing, trying to punch the clock, hop on the line, <laughs> act like you just, act like you ain't just get there. You know what I mean? So come to work a little early. So same with trading, bro. Take it serious, right? So let me just tell you, exactly what you saw, I saw a year ago, all right? And I never showed up at five. That's just way too late, bro. Five o'clock is way too late. But let me tell you, when you woke up at three, that was when you were supposed to wake up. The problem is that this market is not like a nine to five. It's not going to be like you're guaranteed a certain movement at this time. Right. So, so what's going this is what I noticed. Sometimes when I woke up at three, I saw moves happen during the Tokyo session at one o'clock, but I missed it because I got up at three. And then sometimes moves don't even happen from one to three. They happen at five. So that's why I opened up my trading time from 12 a.m. to 5 a.m. 12 a.m. So, so, so boom. You know what I mean? Because when, when, when Tokyo session decided to take off around one in the morning, I'm there for it. And then I don't even have to stay up till three. I'm, I'm going back to bed by two 30. Yes, sir. But then it's a long night when nothing happens until, until four o'clock. It's a long mm -hmm. night, but are you with it or not? You feel me? Don't be or talking. Don't be. Well, if, if you're busy and you're tired, then you got to pick your spots. Because when you get burnt out, don't be sitting up there falling asleep, not thinking right. You feel me? But I'm a hustler, so, you know. Try to, try, to, try to go to sleep the night before around, like, you know, 9 or 10 o'clock, 1030, and wake up at 12. At 12 o'clock, I mark up my charts. And, I, mm -hmm. bro, it's only 12, 1, 2, 3, 4. It's only, like, five hours, bro. Five hours. And you're ain't, you ain't really doing nothing but just sitting watching for price to happen you know, for your entry point. You ain't doing nothing. It only take you, like, what, 15, 30 minutes to mark up your chart, and then okay. for the rest of the time, you could just be watching Netflix while you waiting on price to move. You know what I mean? Or listening mm -hmm. to a podcast to, to stay sharp. Or you might be, like, um, studying film. Or, you know what I mean? Your basketball. So, you feel me? So, one to five, bro. What, pretty much 12 o'clock, mark up the charts, and then just sit there and wait for your stuff, wait for your entries to happen. And five o'clock, if nothing happens by five, bro, it's a no trade day. Go back to bed. Cash to, to stay sharp. Or you might be like um, studying film or, you know what I mean? Your basketball. So you feel me? So one to five, bro. One, pretty much 12 o'clock, mark up the charts. And then just sit there and wait for your stuff. You wait for your entries to happen. And five o'clock, if nothing happens by five, bro, it's a no trade day. Go back to bed.